Hey guys, so it is already September. This year flew by, this summer flew by, everything flies by. But this is gonna be my August favorites video. And if you guys know a year ago, my first ever favorites video was an August favorites video, which is cool because this is an August favorite video. So yeah, but let's get started. So first, of course, I'm gonna start with beauty. And so my first favorite is this mascara. And it is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which I got at Sephora. And at first I didn't like this because I felt like it was kind of just like flaking off. But it's like it's, it just it doesn't do that anymore. And I don't know why I ever thought. But I've definitely been liking this a lot. It gives my lashes a lot of volume. And so I recommend this mascara. Next has been this lotion. It is the um, Bath & Body Works Wild Madagascar Vanilla Lotion. And it has like a fall scent. But at the same time it has like a summer scent. Like perfect for like August and September. Because those are the months of transition. And so I love this lotion. I have been using it a lot. And though it looks full, it's probably like to year. Next for eyeliner, I have always used the Revlon color state liquid liner but this one is actually a short pen and the one I usually use is a very long pen and I definitely like this short pen more because it makes everything more accurate and this one's just better go buy it next I have really been liking this brush because I've done a lot of research on brushes and what the best kind of brushes are and this is definitely the best for like bronzer foundation powder all that stuff because it is a flat top brush and it is like what is it called like synthesized or something like that where it's not like real hair because on some brushes it's like goat hair so then it like absorb like makes everything look weird because of oils and all that stuff but i definitely been liking this brush it is the bella terra bb20 large angled kabuki brush and it is a flat top and it's super soft and i love it next okay I know we all have split ends, every girl in the world has split ends, even if they don't use, uh, they don't straighten their hair, they don't use heat on their hair, they don't curl it, they don't do anything to their hair, but they still have split ends. I found the answer. So my mom was at Walmart and she saw this girl who had like really pretty hair and my mom being who she is went up to her and was like, yo, what do you use on your hair because like, it's really pretty. And so then the lady was all like, I use this and it is the Hollywood Beauty Free Olive Cholesterol Super Shine and Moisturize Deep Conditioning Cream for Damaged Hair and it looks like this and it's really nasty, it's like it looks nasty, it smells like Silly Putty but it works. I get in the shower or you can just get your hair wet, whatever you want and then you coat this all throughout your hair and then you put a towel over your, like on your head and you wrap it around and then you leave it for 10 minutes and then you take it out, rinse it all out and then your hair feels like really soft and you keep, if you keep doing it, it just like, like makes your, it makes your hair softer and it kind of like gets rid of like all the split ends and stuff and it's really really cool because I didn't even know that existed but yeah, this is like, this was made by God himself. Next, I have been really loving this. It is the Maybelline New York Master Highlight by Face Studio Highlighting Bronzer in the shade Deep Bronze 16. I don't know what the numbers mean. But it is this one and it has, it is awesome. I love it, I love using it. It's the perfect shade for my skin tone. So yeah, I love that. Next, I've been using this Trader Joe's Spa Face Wash with Tea Tree Oil and it looks like this. And I really, really love this face wash. It gets rid of like any red spots, any pimples, anything overnight. You just put it on. I put it on every night and every morning. And I've been loving it. It makes my face super, super smooth. Okay, now we're going to do foods favorites because I have been eating a lot of food. And I have three foods favorite. Well, technically four. And I don't actually have them because my mom refused to go to Trader Joe's and get me more of it. But I'll get it soon. It is the Squishers Frozen Yogurts, and they are strawberry flavored, and it should be right here. There should be a picture. And I put them in the freezer so that they're frozen, and so they're kind of like little frozen yogurt popsicle sticks, and they are so good. I eat all, me and my friend, Abby, literally ate two boxes of them the other day. Like, we literally went through two boxes of them, and there's like ten in each one. They're really good. Next are these Joe's O's because my mom refused to buy me Cheerios or Honey Nut Cheerios. And so I found these at Trader Joe's because she'll buy me anything from Trader Joe's. And so they're delicious. They taste just like Cheerios and they're addictive and I eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snacks. And in my dreams, I eat it all the time. And then also what I've been eating a lot is this granola, which is also from Trader Joe's. All this stuff is from Trader Joe's. Is this 
granola and this yogurt and together they are a match made in heaven they are beautiful they it is amazing it is the best taste you will ever have and i'm obsessed with breakfast foods now for clothing i don't usually do like clothing clothing favorites but i have been having one or no i've actually been having two clothing favorites the shirt that i'm wearing right now which was actually in my last video and it is this is from watch my last video i don't know where it's from but then also this You Make Me Wonder tank top, which is from Top Shop, which I got in New York. And it's like neon lights. And it's a muscle tank. And it's black. And it's everything I've ever dreamed of. And in it, on this tag, there's like a cake recipe. A tea and cake recipe. I don't even know why that's there. So now for random favorites. It has been these jandals. I got these at Kima Boardwalk, which is in Texas, Galveston, the area. And they were only $12. And... I love them. They're so convenient. You can wear them anywhere. They go with a lot of things and they look like Jesus sandals and they're really cool. But I really like these and I think they're great for summer and I have been wearing them all of August and they're just a go-to shoe. I love them. Next has been Paper Towns. I am obsessed with Paper Towns. I read like the beginning of the book um, like a year ago and then I found out they were making a movie and I can't see the movie without reading the book and so I read the book at camp in three days and it is so amazing. I I am so obsessed and I saw the movie and I was really upset because a lot of the things in the book weren't in the movie but I still really love the movie and I bought it and I'm obsessed with Paper Towns and Margot Roth's Spiegelman and Cara Delevingne and the whole entire movie. It's so good and the book is so amazing. I love it. I love it. Next has been Friends. Thanks to my friend from camp, Sydney Madsen, I have been obsessed with Friends. I watched every season and every sub episode in this past month, and it is the best show ever. I mean, I forgot how good it was. I we used to watch it all the time on um, Nick at Night, and it's just, it's so good. And Rachel and Ross and Chandler and Monica. Next, I've really been loving this necklace. It is just a chain, and there's a long horn charm on it. And then there's like this little heart ruby chain on it, which is my grandma's. And she's still alive, so it's not like depressing. But um, I've really been loving these and just like necklaces with like sentimental like meaning. And so you guys should make necklaces with charms that mean something to you because they're pretty cool and you wear them a lot. Next, I have been obsessed with foxes, five fox shoes. I have a fox shirt. I have them all up in my phone. I've been watching so many fox movies. I've been reading all about foxes. I'm obsessed with foxes. I'm obsessed with them and there's no cure for it. Um, I'm obsessed. Next, I have been obsessed with little caps like this with little sayings on this. I love this one, which I made in a video in July and it says you're simply the best. And then there's another one, which is an Astros cap, which my mom packed. But um, I've definitely been loving little caps like this and wearing them around. Next, I've been obsessed with notebooks, and it's a little weird. I decorated these like a year ago because I was inspired because of the Bethany Moda video, Back to School. But um, I've been obsessed with them, and I write like planning what my video is going to be or a makeup look. I just like to write stuff down in them because it's, it, it's old style and it's cool and... And these notebooks are really pretty. Now, something I've never done before, my favorite looks. I have two favorite looks for this month that I've been wearing a lot. One of them I have on my eyes right now, and it was actually my back to school makeup video. And it is this eyeshadow, and it is like white eyeshadow. And then it's all from the Nudes palette. It's in my um, back to school makeup video, and I've been loving that look. And then I've also really been loving um, a straight ponytail with like little strands hanging down because, um, I just like it. And now for favorite songs, and I do not have three favorite songs, guys. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven favorite songs. But some of them are from like the same artist, so I've been obsessed with the band Oh Wonder. Oh my god. It is, they're the ones that sing Lose It, and I was obsessed with that song in July, and then I heard Drive, and now I'm obsessed with that song. That song is so good. I love it. And there's a music video to it, and there's a lot of remixes to Lose It, so you've probably heard it on Vine or something, but those two songs are amazing. Next, I have been loving this girl, Banks, and she, I actually heard about her because me and my friend Grace, Serena and Carolyn, we were watching the trailer to um, The Longest Ride, and there was a song in the beginning of it, and it sounded kind of like scary, but we were like, 
this is kind of cool. And so we started looking it up and trying to find it and then it was by this girl named Banks and it was called The Waiting Game and I've been loving that song so much. It's called The Waiting Game and I've also been loving Begging for Thread by the same person because that song is so good and her songs are so good. Same as Oh Wonder. Then there's this girl named Halsey, which a lot of you have probably heard of. And my favorite song by her is New Americana. I've been listening to all of her music since I got back from camp. And New, New Americana is by far my favorite. Then there's Selena Gomez is Good For You. I was obsessed with that song. The minute it came out, that song is so good. And her voice and just the whole, it's so unique, the song. And it's like nothing anyone's ever heard of. And it's not what I expect at all. But I love it. I love it. I love it. And then I have been obsessing over Taylor Swift because she is like perfect and I am obsessed with New Romantics. I learned how to play it on the piano and I'm obsessed with that song. Everything about it I love. I love the whole idea of it, everything about it. And so this is my favorite video and I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys had an awesome August and that you guys are having a fun school year and yeah, bye!